who doesn't like free stuff? So in this video, let me explain how we can get Excel, Power BI and SQL for free. Let's start with Excel. To get Excel for free, just go to your browser and type excel.new. You will need a free Microsoft account for this. And once you log in, here I have already logged in, it will take you to your OneDrive with a add new button. When you click on that, you can create an Excel workbook. Here I have created a new workbook already. And you can see that this is actually 95% same as the desktop Excel that we use. You can do almost everything here. You can set up your worksheets. You can insert pivot tables, tables, charts, pictures, shapes, everything. You can share this file. You can apply formulas, including, and here is the fun part, all the new formulas of Excel. So for example, something like filter, scan, Lambda, or even the image function. Many times when you are using an older version on your computer, you find that you're not able to use these new functions like XLOOKUP or filter. With online Excel, you have all of this available. And this thing is completely free. Again, to get this, just go to your browser and type excel.new. Now you might think, okay, if this is so free, why would anybody pay for Excel? While this thing is free, it comes with some limitations as well as you're not able to work offline. So you must have an active internet connection and all the operations that, that you can do are limited to what is allowed in the browser. So that means you're not able to, for example, write some macros or do some really advanced stuff. And this is where you may want to purchase Excel. If you do want to buy Excel, I do have some tricks that you can use to get Excel ridiculously cheap. My first trick is to buy a Microsoft 365 family subscription. This will give you Excel as well as everything else in Microsoft Office for up to six people. So all you have to do is find maybe a few others. They could be your friends or family members. Although here Microsoft says that they should all be part of the same household. Uh, I guess it might be easier if you can find somebody within your extended family who may want to get Excel along with you. It is about 179 New Zealand dollars per year and the price is similar in Indian rupees or US dollars. So when you let's say buy this and divide it among four people, each of you will only end up paying roughly $45 New Zealand or maybe about 1500 rupees Indian. So that is a really cheap and great way to get Excel. Apart from Excel, you will also get PowerPoint, Word, OneNote with offline access and all the premium features. You will also have a ton of cloud storage for all your images and documents and backups and whatnot. And you will also have access to Outlook for maintaining your email. Oh, by the way, here is another free thing. It is subscribing to my channel. If you enjoy my videos and want to level up your data analysis game, then consider subscribing to my channel as well as liking this video. Let's go back. Another great alternative to the family subscription plan is to get the office home and student plan. It is quite a bit more expensive, but you will get a one-time purchase rather than annual subscription. So once you buy it, it doesn't expire and it stays on your computer forever. The only downside with this option is it is limited to 2021 version of Office. So you will not be able to see the new updates of Excel. You will see everything as of 2021. I'll specify more about the differences between 365 and 2021 in the video description below if you are interested to know how they differ. Another cheeky idea, and this is something that I find very helpful, especially if you are trying to get Excel as part of a new computer, is to purchase a computer that already has Excel and Office installed. For example, here is a computer that I found on Amazon.in. It is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 that comes with Office 2021 pre-installed. So you don't have to pay anything and you will not only get that, but you'll also get a laptop for doing all your data analysis stuff. There might be other similar laptops from various providers that are available. Do search your favorite online retailer and search for Office Included or Office 365 subscription when you are searching and you might find some information. 
One last way of getting Excel for free or at a very low cost is to buy a used computer. Now, used computers do have some security risks. For example, they may have some harmful software pre-installed and that might not work very well with you. So you will need to do your proper due diligence. But if you end up finding a used computer, for example, here is one that I found on TradeMe, which is a marketplace platform in New Zealand. So this is a HP Pavilion 15 with eight gigs of RAM and it includes MS Office. So many times what happens is people end up buying a computer for some work or personal reasons and after a while they want to sell it but the software is already paid for. So they'll sell you with everything that is already installed. Again, like I mentioned, when you are buying used computers, you may want to do proper due diligence so that you are not exposed to any security or privacy issues. So those are my five ways of getting Excel for free using excel.new, buying a family subscription, buying home and student version of Excel, buying a computer that already has Excel on it or buying a used computer that has Excel installed on it. Now let's take a look at the Power BI options. The good thing with Power BI is Power BI desktop version is completely free. You don't have to pay a single penny to use it. Just go to Power BI website here. I'll have a link for this in the video description again and download the free Power BI desktop for your computer. You do need a Windows computer though. With this Power BI desktop, you're able to do everything in Power BI except publishing and sharing your work with others. So this is a great way to learn, practice, test your ideas and build the whole thing, especially even when you're consulting with a client and then give them the workbook for them to publish in their workspaces. There is a powerful and free way to actually publish the Power BI workbooks into your personal workspace as well. That is to sign up for the Office 365 developer program. Again, this program is a free program for developers. Even though it says developers, we can use this to build and share Power BI workbooks on our personal workspace. So I'll have a link for this in the video description. When you join this program, Essentially, you will build a tenant on Microsoft.com website. Once you have that tenant, you can use that tenant to create and maintain your free workspace on Power BI so that you can see the things on the platform side of the Power BI as well. Our last thing is to get SQL. And for this, I do have three options. The first option is the free MySQL Community Edition software. This is again a free edition of MySQL that you can use to learn practice SQL on your computer comfortably. Just download this, install it, follow the prompts and you will have a database set up on your computer that you can use to do various things within SQL. Just as MySQL has a free version, even SQL Server has a free version. So when you go to the SQL Server website, you will see that there is a SQL Server 2022 Express version that is completely free. You can install it on your computer. I have both MySQL and SQL Server on my computer. And I use these free editions to test out various ideas, practice my SQL skills and build queries before I run them in the production environment. There is a third way in which we can get SQL for free. This involves not installing anything on your computer, but using the online interfaces. Now, there are many places where you can practice SQL online, but most of them have the limitation that you are not able to upload your own data and practice with that. So this is where I like the data.world website. This is a free website wherein you can sign up. You will probably require your Gmail or Facebook or one of the social logins to enter into this website. But like I said, it is a free website. So here I have got my own account with the data.world and I have uploaded our awesome chocolates data set here. When you look at the data set, this is my own data. I have uploaded it. And once the data is here, I can see the data through the view. And while I'm viewing the data, I can go to the query area here and I can write SQL queries here. So for example, here is a pre-built query, select star from sales, limit 5,000. And when I run the query, I'll see the results right here. This is full SQL, so I can write pretty much everything that I'd normally write in SQL. And it's a great way for me to 
upload my own data and practice or test my SQL knowledge very easily. The only downside of data.world is it is online. So you do need a stable internet connection if you do want to use this for your SQL. Now that is a lot of free resources. If you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, I have got one more thing for you. I have written an email with all the information that is mentioned in this video with clear links on where to get various free things as well as other information that might be helpful for you. If you want that email, sign up using the newsletter below. Apart from that email, every week I'm going to send you an email on how to use either Excel, Power BI or SQL to improve your work. Did I tell you all of this is free? That's right. So sign up using the link in the video description below and be awesome. I'll catch you there. Bye.